Namaste. Welcome to the Capacity Building Program of National Mission on Libraries. Today we will be discussing about effective communication. Communication to the library profession is not a new word. In fact, communication is there when the living beings exist in this earth. Every creature or living thing in this earth communicate each other. But human being is given the privilege of effective communication. Man is known for making the communication more effective than any other creature in this world. Now how men communicate each other or whether this communication is important in a library, that will be the discussion of today in this module. Now communication can take place between two people, two individual. Communication can also be between one person and many people listening to him. Or communication can be horizontal, vertical or any kind of direction. It can access depending upon the context. In this module, we will try to define what is effective communication and its elements used. Also, we will try to explore different aspects of communication which is required in library and the importance of communication in library which will help in enhancing the productivity as well as services in a library. Now, communication to become effective we need to see the fundamental aspects of communication. What is communication? In fact, the word communication is defined from a Latin word which uh, takes its meaning from two words, one from noun and another from the verb. The no noun is communis and the verb is communicare. So this Latin words mean that sharing something each other. So the ability to exchange feelings, emotions, ideas, information, vision with others can be defined as communication. Or it is a process by which the information is exchanged between individuals through a common system of symbol, signs and behavior. Sometimes people ask whether language is required for communications. Sometimes people ask that uh, is there any words or letter required for communication. A communication can exist in any of its primitive form including gesture posture, etc. But at the end, the man who tried to communicate and the person who tried to understand the concept from the center, we can name it as center as well as receiver. So these two people, if they effectively communicate, what is sender sent to the receiver will be as it is what is understood by the receiver. So sender, what intent to give? The receiver, the same thing will be accepted in a best communication model. I have a figure in my slide showing here the process of communication. Generally, there will be a channel in between the center and the receiver. This is a common diagram of communication process. 
and the communication sends something through the channel the channel can be air like one when i am talking to you there are lot of process happening one is it comes to you as a signal through different medium or channel the other one is that where this talk is recorded from my words to the camera it travel through air so air become a channel or the ice network becomes a channel or maybe a wired connection becomes a channel whatever is there there is a channel between one person and another and that is how it takes place so the process of sending the ideas from once we call it as encoding and it goes to the receiver through the channel and what receiver receives will be depending upon the thought process of the receiver so it is very important that we make very precise clear concise communication from the center to the receiver so the receiver decode what is encoded by the center and if there is an issue in communication process a feedback is given by the receiver that well i have received it in this form whether it is right or not many times we use in english that i am sorry or can you repeat it or what you intended to say or did you mean this this kind of feedback is been given back to the user but in all types of communication this may not be possible this is possible when there is an interaction so the webster merriam webster dictionary define communication is a process in which information is exchanged between individual through a common system of simple signs or behavior now effective communication is defined by four seven c's the first c is that clear if the sender is not very clear obviously the receiver is not getting to message or information perfectly from the sender now it has to be concise so the first c stand for clear second concise third concrete fourth is correct five is coherent fifth is the complete and the last seventh one is courteous so these are the seven c's in effective communication if you look at it many of them are mentioning about the correctness clearness conciseness concreteness where sender has to follow while communicating but the some of the things receiver also has to follow whether he received the complete sentence or he was in concurrent with the center or he was able to listen it properly so all these seven c's defines the communication now once person has to communicate there are two three ways or two three type of skills required one is verbal communication what i am doing with you right now is through verbal communication and there is non verbal communication even if i don't talk a word sometimes that will be understood by the person even if i did not talk any word suppose let us see that if i put like this it means that i want to stop something if i tell something like this or this this is just a gesture this is non verbal that means with body language i communicated some message to the receiver that is verbal and we as an indian use so many kind of gestures for our communication than words the other one is written formal communication third one so the three basic skills are verbal non verbal a written communication verbal is by using words and voice non verbal is without using words so i generally i whenever i we take class to the students you will see that students will be keep on nodding like this this also is a kind of communication to the teacher that they are understanding sometimes when we take uh, give some tough formula then people may talk like this that means they are not able to understand so we have a kind of no in this direction yes in this direction which is the society forms uh, follows this kind of gestures without teaching or without learning from anybody 
and uh, sometimes i feel that uh, some people you know without doing like this or this sometimes they might like this also which makes it very complicated to understand what they intend to communicate but normal ways many of the gestures are uh, so i will not be talking much about non verbal now and the other one is verbal communication so reading writing speaking and listening all the skills are part of verbal communication read reading is written communication writing is also written speaking is the verbal communication and listening and speaking is part of verbal communication so three these are the three basic means of communication now the sender has to decide which one is more suit for communicating your idea and message to the receiver now in the communic verbal process verbal communication and non verbal communication let us see that what is verbal verbal generally use voice so if you have a beautiful soothing voice people generally like you if you are very sh having shouting voice uh, it's talk always in very high pitch sometimes people feel it as irritated so problem with using the same word by two person also can define differ, different meaning at context like what can be tell in many times many many types many styles if i am asking what it stand for something if i am asking what that stand for something else what so if voice modulation with the same word also can change the meaning of a word in different context the verbal communication is very very important to learn and uh, this can happen between two individual this can happen much more effectively when you are in a, on a platform so in library we cannot rule out which kind of communication we require maybe 80 percentage of the time you have to do normal verbal communication informal this verbal also can be formal and informal formal is that you go to somewhere on the stage or on a dais and start talking to a group of people it can be also in a meeting where you chair the meeting and you talk to others so this kind of formal model also can be there for verbal communication and by creating a kind of modulation in the words in the sentence you can get the attention of the audience if somebody is talking very long sentence immediately he put a pause then everybody will be watching at him what he is going to tell next so this kind of modulation is one of the very good quality or parameter in verbal communication then walk using the exact words by expressing your thought in simple clear concise words is another art of communication some people are having the habit of talking very very long sentences they will start from there without taking a breath you will find that the people are not even taking a breath for one minute but completing a sentence such a sentences or such a way of communication may distract the listener and the other skill is if you are making formal communication to give a speech or public speaking then a message or idea an opinion or suggestion can be articulated to many people at one time these are the skills used when you are communicating with many people at a time and non verbal communication i have told gesture and posture earlier even eye contact is important if somebody is talking to you for long without any eye contact that person attention can be diverted to some other even in traditional we told tell that if people are not looking at your eyes while talking he is hiding something he is not a man of open heart to deal with so right eye contact in a communication is very important that type of eye contact to give depends on which audience you are referring to personal communication eye contact is important but when i am talking about eye contact it is not that you are staring directly at the eyes of the listener that also when we can create irritation the eye contact with be such a comfortable that the person feel that you are very honest you are talking to him 
or to convey some message which is very sincere and truthful so eye contact is very important in one to one communication in a group also if five people are standing before you and you are talking to only one person looking at his eyes without looking at uh, other person the other per four person will put a kind of venetian blanks we call it as in communication protocol they put a venetian blanks between you and the center then in that context you have to look at everybody's eye in a regular interval and this is much more visible when you are taking a class when you are library sometimes you have to give user training sometimes you have to teach sometimes you have to give orientation programs and such a cases there will be a group of people attending as audience and what you have to do you have to divide the total audience in different segments and look at everybody and like uh, if i am one group is sitting in the left one group is on the right and everybody feel that uh, the speaker is in fact talking to me that is what is important of eye contact even in a big crowd where you are in a playground where thousands and thousand ten thousands of people are gathered there also if you are looking at only one section of the people the other section may gradually get get away from your conversation the communication and conversation this it has to be a conversation between two individual but uh, to make it uh, eye contact is one of the best uh, tool to make the listener listening to you properly and posture and gesture i already mentioned uh, there are uh, different types of gesture posture in sitting standing and when doing public speaking while walking all that but an acceptable posture is required uh, the most po accepted posture in communication is if a person is standing and bowing towards the speaker the speaker will feel that he is respecting you the receiver the listener will feel that he is respecting you but if i put myself a little down and talk like this this shows that my gesture is not good for the other person to accept me so what that is an arrogant way of behavior in with a gesture so gesture also can make you different types of styles while communication this comes some part of again non verbal communication then there is something called pause pause is required to make stucks for certain words if i call rama kill ramana simple but when i call rama killed ramana so the activity is given so there is a pause drama then pause or even pause can be introduced in sentence to make the listener be curious about what you are talking and pause can also distract the communication if you give a long pause talk then keep for a while without telling that sometimes also create problem so normal pauses is are required as part of non verbal communication now every communication most important is i will come to it later give any message with graceness on your face a smile on your face once you smile then other person will be very eager to listen to you and feel a kind of pleasant atmosphere to listen to what the speaker is telling what the center is telling so graceness with a smile is one of the quality to possess for a communicator it doesn't mean that every time you have to smile or laugh in a big audience it doesn't matter but in a personal communication in a small group it all always matter so people will feel feel comfortable when you smile there is a saying that uh, while you smile many people smile and the smiles create uh, you more comfortable so once you smile other will smile and the smile will become epidemic then there will be thousands and thousands more smiles because you smile so smile graceness pose eye contact gesture are the non verbal communication so wherever is required it is up to an individual to decide you have so many examples of world leaders national leaders who use some of these qualities and some pose in the speech when i am talking some of the leaders will come to you the graceness always talking with the graceness you will feel that and eye contact and all this you can 
observe and understand now these are the non verbal four pos characteristic i call posture is standing crossed leg clenched leg hands all these are generally not accepted and many people put crossed leg once you are putting crossed leg no uh, we are comfortable by putting crossed leg but sometimes the other person sitting in the other side may not be comfortable so uh, even crossed the legs when you stand you are likely to be fall fall and when there is there will be a small variation in your st structure of standing so posture is to be followed when you are generally talking to a group of people and gesture is that uh, too much gesture is also not i have seen that sometimes people use hands for that every word they will use the hand finger and all this so when i use hands without having any clarity that becomes one of the distraction so we have to see that not for distraction for the comfortness we have to use gestures and graceness and eye contact i already told pose so use this kind of posture gesture graceness eye contact pose for your talk now verbal communication can be a group addressing or it can be one to one or it can be one person to a very small group of people so here we can call it as addressing and public addressing is not a part of this discussion effective that is a separate topic itself but in library many a time that we will be forced to address people five people comes together and asking something then you are addressing a group and you are asked to give a training then you are addressing group of people sitting in different area region and there could be like a class you stand on the auditorium so some of the ethics to be followed for public addressing also need to be taken care verbal communication that is whatever points i mentioned in addition to that you need to prepare for addressing such a thing so the, uh, to get attention there is something called ho hum formula when if you are really talking in an audience there should be something that you wake up the audience with some with your theme it could be a story it could be a poem it could be an incident or it could be a startling statistics surprising statistical figure so such a kind of things you put in the audience in a talk then definitely people will start listening to you better than what you expect so the statistics like the last year our library was having 1 lakh collection and this year it has been increased to 2 lakh almost 100% increase so i gave some statistical figure you know which impress the audience that they have to follow so the voice and the modulation modulation is a technique we use it in our when we are talking with our children in home when they are very naughty you automatically raise your voice because your child kids they have to watch you so similarly sometimes we want to give some points very firmly that time we have to mention with our modulation and sometimes when you are talking something we can decrease your voice if you decrease the voice that also will get attention why he decreased the voice is he going to tell something very serious now that kind of so verbal communication after preparing the subject how to give that as me generally any there should be a 10 percentage introduction and 75 percentage of the body and 15 percentage conclusion so before addressing decide on it how you are going to introduce how you are going to conclude that will come 25 percentage then whatever you want to say is body so even if it is 5 minutes 30 minutes 1 hour 2 hours this formula can be followed now reading skills are very important for librarians because you librarians read a lot library professional they have to read a lot not only just notification procedure etc but many librarians are by virtue are good leaders the reason that they sit in library they get lot of newspaper every day they uh, at least 10 15 pages newspaper comes they go through it and the books comes new books comes arrival then they go through so reading skills now reading skill also can be increased by practice i have a simple exercise here i invite your attention to these words 
I have finished two files are the result of years of scientific study combined with experience of year. Question, how many Fs are there? Now you start counting it. I'll give you one second, one or two seconds, three seconds. Immediately you will tell two. Just more. When I was preparing the child, I, I asked one of my colleagues, how many Fs are there? He, he started telling two. Then somebody was sitting near, said, no, no, there is three, four, but there is more. Uh, you will understand that you have missed some F unintentionally. Some of the F, the reading means we will not read all words, even if I am telling how many are there. So how many Fs are there? Actually, there were six Fs. Did you count it? Those who counted, you are a good reader. Now the basic of elements of communication is been told. What is to be done? The process, the center, the receiver, the feedback, the channel, verbal, nonverbal. Now, how effectively this can be used in library or is it required in the library? Library, you know that between your colleague, you are to stuff talk each other. That is inter-library staff communication, inside library. And library staff, being a library professional, you have to interact with the user. So user and library, library staff communication. Then inter-organizational staff communication. Library should work with the other department, finance for budgeting and the invoice for making the bills and for uh, administration and uh, higher ups for the policy decision. So inter-organizational com staff communication is required in library. Then outside party we have to communicate. That is vendor, publishers and libraries. Then between library also we need to talk. Communication with, with the other libraries. Now. Let us say that when you talk between in the library or user to user, how do you initiate the talk? I already told graceness and smile gives an advantage in the communication. So I give a simple formula here that is called smile. Smile stands for first, S stands for smile, second is matching, third is initiative, fourth is listen, fifth is empathy. The first one is already discussed and matching is that the user who comes to you or the your staff comes to you, you have to see that what for they are coming. And then you initiate in such a way that the communication will become effective. So generally we have the habit when we are meeting somebody, we ask that, did you have your lunch or did you have the tea or how was the day? Is it raining outside or what is the cricket score? This generally people use it to create a match between two people. Once the other person answer it, then definitely they, they, they created a match between both of them, then they can communicate. And somebody has to take initiative. So two people are standing. If both of them are reluctant to say hello, we will initiate it. So it depends on that. Uh, uh, as a library portion, I feel that the initiate should come from the person sitting in the library offer. Many times when people come into library, at least some, some cases I have noticed, they will ask, what do you want? Anybody comes to library, they may require something, some information, document. But this question itself is wrong. Instead of that, uh, the modern world teaches the business person teaches that business technique. That uh, rather than that, you ask, uh, how can I help you? So you have a lot of words, board display boards there. That is the help. May I help you counter and all that? But uh, effectively, if you are looking, somebody comes, you take it as a kind of offensive manner that kya chai, what, what you do, L like this. So that that is not the initiates. Initiative means that you give the promptness for the user to ask you something. Then you be a library person, listen perfectly, listen completely, listen with patience. Listening is a very, very good habit. Many, peop many times it people feel that only speaking is the skill. Listening is not a skill. Listening is also a good skill. Generally, when talking about listening, I remember about uh, the Indian god Ganapati with big ears, because that many ear, big ears are required for, ears are required for you to listen. So we need a big 
ear, the, the small tongue to talk, but ear to listen. So we need to listen more than what we speak. That is what is effective communication. So once you, both of people are started talking, finally is empathy. Put yourself in the shoe of the other person. If a user comes and asking something, if you are in his position, how do you will react? So this kind of matching and making yourself as the receiver is what is called empathy. And the practice of doing it in scientific way, we call it as systematic desensitization. That I will not uh, go into the detail of the part of it, but just introduce the term. That time. Now, what are the context we need to talk to the user? If a new user comes, we need to give awareness, training for, about the collections in library. And any new user, start with what is available in your library. It can be in a group orientation program. It could, can be an awareness program. Or if one to one also, somebody comes, you tell that these are the facilities we have. That give it in short time that uh, we have these all facilities and services available. So giving awareness to the new user is very important in a library, which requires communication skill. Then sometimes we have to establish the rules and procedure of library. Procedure means policies of library. What time it starts, what day you have to return, the, how many days you get it to return a book, or what are the other rules to be followed in library. Uh, silence is generally a term used in library. Please. But now modern libraries, it is told that library should be a place even to sit and discuss, uh, browse, everything. The chapter says so. That means we have to be very thorough about giving the rules and policies to the user. That is awareness. Then procedure to be followed in a library. Uh, many a times these are all printed, leaflet, but it, can, it is a good idea that we give it to the user as well. Then give good directions, part of communication, sense of directions for like locating a book, locating some information or searching on the book or giving some services, current awareness service, new arrivals and signage in library, signage bots in library or user guide. These are all part of communication. These are all printed communication uh, using your writing skill. So this can be also part of your communication in library. Then inter library staff communication. Let us know very precisely come to the group which are working in library because communication is required in library. That is a topic. In the library staff communication, there are different ways of communicating. One is upward communication and another is downward communication. Upward is that you have to communicate with your boss. And the same voice, same words, same style which you are using with your colleague or for downward communication cannot be up, apply, applicable in upward communication. So this is a flow of communication in two directions. So depending upon the style, upward or downward, generally uh, in downward communication, people ascertain something, bring that, that. But when it is on upward, you make a kind of request. But uh, it is better that we follow the ethics in a library when you are communicating. And library user can be anybody. He can be a very, very senior officer. He can be a small kid also. But both students dealing with, uh, we have to see that the user is very, very comfortable, whether you are. And I have put a peer to uh, communication simple here, two arrows. That means only same level communication between people. That uh, will not all the time work in library because library has to follow this. Because of this, the picture shows there is administrative level. They take the managerial decision, senior level, policy decision and implementation, middle level, execution and interaction with the next junior level, then circulation desk is an example of junior level where you are there. Are, and looking at this picture, can you keep away from any communication process or any group you feel that they need not communicate? Perhaps junior levels should communicate more. So the communication skill should be learned by everybody. Now, negotiation is one of the skills re required in communication library. Uh, look at this picture. What is negotiation? You and another person discuss. 
this negotiation is not only for bringing down the price or it can be also for a compromise now if i and you argue on anything or we negotiate on something for a positive thing i am talking i win you also win that is a result if that is the result we are successful in the negotiation but there could be one chance that i lose and you won the case now what happened the emoticon shows that i am sad but i win with an arrogance that is what is called arrogance and you lose somebody is a loser in both cases here and finally you lose i lose that means the relationship is lost so negotiation is generally to keep the relation intact without hurting that but both of you win either in the price or in the compromise or in an argument or in that so this skills are required in library negotiation the more you negotiate the more you accepted you are accepted by the management but if you are negotiation with arrogancy that always you win that will happen for some time after that many people will not come to you for negotiation so both quality has to be kept intact and i have beautiful both are arguing in different direction pulling in different direction but if you look at that what is required for both it was available finally both of them sat together then went to one direction this is compromise both side or this side or that side and the objective is met so negotiate to win win is that then team management and team work is very important in library without a team a library cannot be built up so the team has to work together the most interesting picture which you have seen two people are creating railway track but no coordination one created so they are all good in their work what happened without since it is not a team work one went into other direction another went into other direction and team always give better service than a single individual does so you can see from the photo picture itself that this picture is taken from internet and i have given the credit wherever is possible it's then here the team the team itself if you expand together everyone achieve more that is what is team together everyone achieve more so team work is better than individual work and to work in a team you need to have better communication if every, every day we are not communicating well then the team get may get spoiled the spirit of the team may not come out once it is a, we always tell that success always is because of the hard work of the team team spirit the team spirit is to be in it to be generated in a library to get things done so team management and team work are two skills by using communication and library clientele service if you are dealing with the clients what do you expect always see that the communication is there by in the form of feedback opinion review comment suggestion etc so once you receive this unless we promote communication in library this may not happen the more you promote communicate the more feedback you get the more feedback you the more fine tuning you can do with the system so that the library services can go directly to the user in a better shape or a better service can be established and the awareness i mentioned already library orientation and presentation is required which need communication skill user training presentation awareness these are some of the tools which needs communication skill and follow this communication skill everybody can be a better communicator and by sitting in library people cannot individually grow so networking is one component here i am not talking about a technological network internet rather than human networking if you are a good communicator many people will be communicating with you they will like to and you create in a group when you are in a group you are in a team the team can achieve more as i mentioned and where are the possibilities the possibilities are conferences where you can communicate list group written communication conventions where you discuss idea symposiums workshop 
So getting a chance for any library person to improve the skills, indirectly you are improving your communication skill. By sitting in a room just reading, perhaps the skill of communication may not improve. And what I intended to tell here is that uh, skill is something which can be developed. It is not inborn. And cycling is a skill. Unless you get into cycle, you cannot develop the skill. Swimming is a skill. If you are not into swimming, if you are not touching water, you cannot learn swimming in your life. Similarly, communication is a, also is a skill. The more you like to communicate, the more you put into yourself into communicate, communication, then only the skill will develop. So network is a very good option to improve your communication skill. So librarians should think of interacting with more people to improve their skill. Finally, I have a slide which is quite funny that whenever you want to communicate something, as we defined in the first slide, messages, opinions, ideas, information, passing from sender to receiver is communication. So before doing that, think about five wives and one husband. We heard, we have heard about one wife and five husband in Indian context, but this is in the reverse area. I'll take it as just words like this. First, one husband is, one H stand for how. If anything is to be communicated, first thing how, verbal, non-verbal, written, speaking or meeting, whatever that is how is you decide how to do and then think about the five wise very dangerous that if you are not thinking about this five wise stand for first one whom you want to communicate second why you want to communicate and third or i will put it in the reverse order first is what what you want to communicate whom you want to communicate why you want to communicate at what time where or in which place anything which is formally going to communicate with a person put it in this framework whether these five w's are clear to you and then think about how to give it if you do a little practice with this five w's and one husband formula many of the communication will take place well and that is how i can tell that the communication will be perfect with anybody if you follow some of the tips discussed in this module so i reiterated follow vincent vincent method sir vincent method anything to tell begin strongly and then focus on one theme rather than talking about so many things use very simple language and rather than he listen to the words, draw a picture in the listener's mind. This is what is the story creation, storyboard. If I am telling an elephant is walking in a forest with a man sitting on top of it and both of them saw a tiger. This way when I talk the image is created, not the words. That the, or you get that what is happening in there. This is kind of a picture is creating in the listener's mind for any subject and at the end uh, people should so feel that you are very honest with your subject theme and with an emotion emotion in a sense the message should contain some kind of emotion which can still go from one person to another emotion is like that it can go from one person to other feelings that end with uh, this is what what is the standard method so this is what is to be used in library also and I have put the references with uh, where I have taken the material and this is the content is prepared by Mr. Pallav and the presentation is done by me where I added the important things which I feel is required to make it more attractive and hopefully you and me everybody will communicate better in the library after following the tips given in this module. Thank you very much for patiently listening. And you can get in touch with me or Influminate Center for any of your communication need. We have to discuss a lot more things like a formal communication, style of letter writing and all that. But the time doesn't permit that. 
that is why we are stopping it here thank you very much